Thank you very much for joining me on this Christmas Eve. I hope you're doing well. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to touch on this earthquake that hit yesterday morning and a look at bigger fronts racing through the United States, plus a look at the Saharan dust. But even with some of that dust out there in spots, some other areas dealing with some flooding. I want to zoom down to Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. We'll do that all in this video. So lots to cover. Now, first thing is first, not last night, but really the night before, early yesterday morning, this earthquake hit. A significant one southeastern sections of Cuba uh, with that it was felt over in parts of Haiti uh, Jamaica and even in the southern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos now a lot of us may have slept through it not so much though in eastern Cuba where it was about a 5.9 to 6.1 in magnitude the depth 22 kilometers or 14 miles down which puts it at a relatively shallow earthquake and that's why a lot of us did feel it especially in eastern Cuba of course uh, woke many people up and there was some damage still kind of a uh, fine-tuning on uh, some of the reports coming out of uh, Cuba but with that it was a rather shallow one and a significant one uh, I'm monitoring any signs of aftershocks there's been a few not crazy aftershocks but know that I'm watching that area uh, very carefully now also watching the fronts the Saharan dust and the areas of flooding. We've seen a few fronts racing across the United States, a couple bigger ones once we get into the new year that we'll be trying to dive down. Some active weather for the Atlantic region of Canada, but what I was highlighting yesterday, those areas of rain we've been watching in the Western Caribbean. Well, on the flip side in the Eastern Caribbean, while there's been some showers around, it's been even mixed with some dust. There's been some Saharan dust, but there's that surge of moisture. This is common this time of year. The fronts to the north just kind of move by and then they allow that flow to come in out of the southwest. So you see these brighter colors telling me we have taller clouds in these some areas of rain close to Honduras and Nicaragua watching our Colombian Islands, San Andreas, Providencia, for example, uh, even over toward the uh, Corn Islands, that chance of some rain. But we swing back toward Jamaica, the Cayman Islands and eventually Cuba. This is going to be lifting up to the north and even some rain uh, as we work our way uh, a few days from now back toward the Bahamas. That rain chance is going to go up. Now, this is a shot from above, uh, fine tuning where some of the dust is. Now, the dust typically in this yellow shading here, but you also see the yellow shading here. This map not only shows where the dust is, but also where the dry air is. This up here is dry air. Here we are in the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico right here, Bahamas right through here. These are pockets of dry air, but this here for us in the Eastern Caribbean, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, uh, Grenada, Barbados, St. Lucia. We've had some dust around, and even though you may get a couple showers mixing in, that dust as well mixes in. We'll have some of that dust around. It should lessen over the next day or two and then just kind of stay out uh, toward the east of us. But as of now, watching some of the dust, and our rain chance is not super high. Dominica, uh, Trinidad, our rain chance relatively on the low side. But here's that area of rain we're watching today. You see how it builds and gets it's closer to the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. I want to zoom down in a moment and then we'll get into the fronts moving through the United States. But look at that rain lifting to the north. So Cayman Islands, Cuba by tomorrow, Christmas Day, a better chance of rain. Jamaica, we're going to be on the edge of some heavier rain scattered about very active Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, Belize and parts of the Yucatan and Mexico. Even Guatemala and El Salvador, some showers on our Christmas Day. But there we go by Thursday. Uh, you could see that rain, how it lifts to the north. So the Bahamas, southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, at that point, back through Cuba, we'll see that rain chance even higher as this area of rain will be lifting up to the north. So zooming down to go over some of the rain totals, here we are on the Cayman Islands from Brack, Little Cayman, Grand Cayman. Uh, we're looking at some spots, this pinker shading, if you will, could get about 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain. Let me know if you do get any flooding in some spots. We'll be monitoring that together throughout the day in the comments section. As far as us in Jamaica goes, some spots, not a lot. You see the blue, uh, some of the heavier areas of rain may just stay over the water. So some of us get rain, some of us don't. The blue would be not much at all. But then you see these purples and on the edge of even some of that white shading where we could get some spots of 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain. So I'm gonna be watching us in Jamaica very carefully, just monitoring this rain right here the next few days. These fronts just kind of pulling it up to the north. Now, as we look at what's next, here's the broad picture for us. 
I'll zoom down into Eastern Canada in just a second, but we're seeing these fronts moving across the United States, not super active in the US. These fronts as of now are not really big ones. So with that, they're not going to dive down super far to the south into the Caribbean. And that allows that moisture just to continue to feed in from the southeast. But jumping ahead in time to show you what's next as we work our way into our Friday, here comes a front right through the Mississippi River Valley, Ohio River Valley. You see that rain right there with it. So there is a front working through the U.S. over toward parts of Quebec and back toward the Great Lakes. And that moves across. Not a big one. Another one moves across. That'll be the pattern. This here is by the time we get into Sunday. Still watching some extra rain in the northern uh, sections of the Caribbean. But these fronts as a whole staying to the north. Now yesterday I was showing you that by early in the year, there would be a stronger system or at least a more of a southern system building near Texas. Now, yesterday it was showing that there would be some snow in parts of Texas. That will still be possible, but I mentioned that's way down the road and likely to change. And you can see here just showing some rain, but there is a system here. This is January 2nd that will try to build out of the four corners of the U.S. and Texas and north, uh, northern sections of Mexico. That one may dive down a little bit more for us across the uh, Caribbean and into the uh, Gulf of Mexico. So looking ahead, we could get some bigger fronts as we work our way into January, which would be common. Now, uh, pesky systems, if you will, anywhere from Cape Cod back through uh, Nova Scotia up toward uh, Newfoundland. We've been seeing these spins offshore, just kind of filtering the colder air on the edge of some rain and snow. This is through Thursday, so from Christmas Day into Thursday. See some of that rain trying to build up toward the Avalon Peninsula once we work our way into uh, Thursday. Now, as far as the wave heights go, the swells have picked up southeast coast of the United States back through the Bahamas. Some of those seas pushing about three meters, so looking at about nine, maybe 10 feet in spots in just some areas of chop as we work our way into Christmas Day. So this here is tomorrow, and then pulling forward into Thursday, you can see a little bit of a choppy seas southeast coast of the United States, and then back through the central and southern sections of the Caribbean. Now highlighting the rain, and then I'll summarize all of this in a second, highlighting the rain, there's that blob of rain that will be lifting to the north, and you see how us in Jamaica were on the edge of it, better chance Cayman Islands, and eventually lifting over toward Cuba. The Dominican Republic, we've had that flooding. I've been mentioning, especially northern and eastern zones, there's been a lot of rain over the last almost week or so, right? So watching out for some additional areas of flooding, not as much in Haiti, but we could get a few spots, Haiti and the Dominican Republic, getting over two to maybe three inches of rain, 50 to about 75 millimeters of rain. But we swing back through Puerto Rico, U.S. British Virgin Islands, back through Antigua, Barbuda, St. Martin, all the way down through Guadalupe, Montserrat, Ceiba, Stacia. The rain chance is not high. A lot of us staying dry. You may get a couple showers around, maybe 10 millimeters of rain mixed in with that dust, but overall the dry air and the dust has been in place for many of us, and the rain chance has gone down some in Guyana, Suriname, still that chance of those scattered showers, but there's that surge of moisture. Since the big fronts are staying to the north, you see that area of heavier rain, best chance of rain, closer to the Caribbean. So in Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, and our islands, watching uh, the heavier rain, closer you are to the Caribbean, the better chance of getting some of the higher totals. And then we'll be seeing these fronts zipping by across the uh, United States over the next few days. So on the edge of the heavier rain, about a 50, maybe 60% chance so that's not a 100% chance for us in Jamaica though, but if we get the rain in some spots, we'll be watching out for some flooding, watching out for the possibility of flooding across parts of the Cayman Islands over the next two days. But the rain chance you see here on the flip side of things, Trinidad and Tobago isolated a 30% chance, 30 to 40% chance right through Christmas for us in Barbados, St. Lucia, 50% chance today of a passing shower, but you see by Thursday, just a 30% chance. Rain chance stays limited in Grenada. But if we get a shower, Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines may be mixed in with some of that dust around. 30 to 40% chance the next three days in Martinique. And we're looking at about a 30% chance today and for Christmas in Dominica. So an isolated chance 
of a shower, 40% chance the next three days in Guadalupe. Rain chance in Tiga Barbuda, it's going to stay low. Some beautiful weather around. I know a lot of uh, tourists may be in for uh, the uh, Christmas week into the new year. Uh, they're going to be seeing the uh, payoff out of that, which is good. We could highlight our beautiful islands, 20 to 30% chance St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, 20 to 30% chance Anguilla and St. Bart's. Rain chance stays pretty limited too. St. Martin, St. and Stacia isolated. Uh, rain chance not very high. We may get a few more scattered showers around though. Puerto Rico, 50% chance today, 40% chance as we work our way into Christmas. Christmas Day, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Get over towards St. Croix, uh, Tortola, St. Thomas, uh, St. John's. We're looking at about a 30% chance. We work our way through the Bahamas. Now, later this week, the southern Bahamas, the rain chance is going to be going up. Later this week in the Turks and Caicos, we'll see that rain chance bouncing up. Still watching out for some of those areas of flooding across parts of the Dominican Republic. Even Haiti, about a 30 to 40% chance I'll monitor through Christmas. Belize, our rain chance is not very high. Most of it is just off to the east and then back through the uh, Cayman Islands. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, it would be a very stray chance, 20 to 30% chance right through Christmas of getting a shower. Guyana, rain chance about 40% today and running at about a 40, maybe 50% chance in Suriname as we head through our Christmas Eve. Cuba, we'll be seeing that rain chance building as that moist near the Cayman Islands in Jamaica lifts up to the north Costa Rica Panama some of us deal with some of that rain same thing in Nicaragua uh, which we've been highlighting 30 to 40 percent chance in Honduras eastern sections the better chance of rain 20 percent chance today in Guatemala and El Salvador but tomorrow for Christmas and Thursday the rain chance up to 40 percent holding at about a 20 to 30% chance in Mexico City. Rain chance, Yucatan Peninsula, better chance of some scattered showers, uh, Cancun and Cozumel, eastern end of the eastern side of the Yucatan Peninsula, 30% chance in northern Colombia, isolated shower in northern Venezuela, and a small chance of a shower over the next few days back through Bermuda. So those areas of rain start to lift up to the north. I'll monitor those areas of flooding. It's gonna be active the next few days and watching some of that dust for us as well in the Eastern Caribbean. And then those bigger fronts that may dive down more to the south once we work our way into the new year. And I'll keep an eye on, of course, the earthquake we had, uh, but some of those uh, aftershocks or the possibilities uh, possibility of those and I'll monitor any other earthquake activity for you. So thank you for being with me. I hope you have a great Christmas Eve. I'll be watching for you in the comments. I'll try to get to those throughout the day. Have a good day ahead.